Hi guys, it's Lexi from Tutorial QTXOX. Today in GIMP slash, um, well, kind of DeviantArt downloading brushes, I'm going to show you how to download brushes and apply them and install them in GIMP because, believe it or not, this is the most common question I get is A, how do I download brushes from DeviantArt and B, where do you get most of your brushes and C, how do I install them into my GIMP. So instead of replying to all of you individually, I decided I'd make a video, be a lot easier to answer all of your questions quicker. So um, once you have deviantart.com open, I'll post uh, in the video description the website name too, in case you can't see. Um, but you type in whatever type of brushes you're looking for, eyelash brushes, eyeshadow brushes, makeup brushes, flower brushes, swirls, stars, splatters, whatever you want but you have to put brushes after that so that it knows what it's looking for. So I'm going to look up flower brushes. And just find one you don't have, if you have some already. Um, hmm. Like these look nice right here. They're called Flower Vector Brushes by Redhead Stock. Um, so what you're going to do is, um, once you have it open, going to click download. Sorry, I kind of have a little bit of allergies from the allergy season out here. Um, you're just going to click save and make sure it's saved to your desktop. So click save and t um, it could take anywhere from a long time to a little bit of time to download but you're going to need to open this a program called WinRAR W-I-N-R-A-R -R, and you can download it online for free and it doesn't really expire like it says it has a trial period but really it doesn't expire. So I have it installed already. If you want I'm sure people have made videos on how to install WinRAR. Just look it up. And right click and if you have WinRAR it should say extract files right here. And through this program you can just extract it to your desktop which is what you want to do and click OK. And this should pop up right here. And um... What it is, is just a little um, thing. This is what you put in your file to make it a pop-up in the program. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to put it in computer and then go to OSC, go to program files, go to GIMP 2.0, share, GIMP 2.0, and brushes. Hold on a sec, the phone's ringing. Okay, sorry about that. So um, once you're in... GIMP share, GIMP 2.0 and brushes, you're going to take the little thing, copy it and paste it in here and I'm an administrator but you might have to get permission to paste it something if you have Vista, I don't know, it's weird like that but it should be in here and it is in here, right here, SS flower vectors and um, once you go, you want to scroll all the way to the top and I have SS retro vectors in there already, I really like them you're just going to um, refresh the page so it knows it's in there. And if you have GIMP open already like I do, you're going to go into Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Brushes, and press the refresh button. And sometimes you'll get little error messages from other brushes, but hopefully mine should have installed. And to make it easier to look for them, I usually try to widen this to find them. Um, hmm. They are right here, all these retro flowers, They're called SS flower vectors, all of these, and I will open a new thing to test them out for you. Um, wow, they're quite big. Um, they're very big, actually. Make these tinier. They're really cute, though. I like all of these. And it's pretty simple. You can download whatever brush you want. You can even, I have a video I think on how to make your own brushes, I'm pretty sure. If not, if I don't, I think I do. If I don't, I'll put one up, but I'm pretty sure I have one already on that. But, um, yeah, so you can test them out. And if you want your brush to be able to change colors instead of just being in black, you're going to go into Brush Dynamics and make sure um, random for color is checked. I believe that's what you check. Hold on a sec, let me see if that worked. Yes, you want to change random, you want to click color on this random thing to be able to change your brush color. 
and then you just minus it and you can change it to whatever color you want flip flop them if you want to make it darker lighter whatever so yes that's pretty much my tutorial if you have any questions feel free to ask or email my youtube account thanks guys please comment rate subscribe and request